Hello, it's Diana Marchand, and I make healthy eating and living simple for you so you can live a life of vibrant health and energy. And welcome to this video. Today's topic of the video is your thoughts, your beliefs, and your words, and how they affect your reality. Now, this sounds a little corny, but just keep listening. I know you've heard many of these things before, but it's a good reminder because Yes, I myself know all these things and I read so many of these books and I have a huge self-help library, but it has taken, I've stumbled on this in the last little while. And that's why I was thinking, you know, there's probably many people who do need a little reminder about this. So I've been feeling exhausted, really tired lately and uh, doing too much and getting caught up in the whole stress and feeling like I have to do, 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 and be everything and do everything right, which... I know so many of you women are in that too. And it is hard, especially when you're going through perimenopause and you are experiencing other symptoms, your body shifting, changing, hormonal levels levels are all over you, already exhausted and tired and having symptoms that um, are bothering you, you know, digestive issues, gaining weight, whatever. So but there again, you're already going through so much. And what I want you to start doing is, can be, is really simple. It is, um, yes, there's changes that are going on within your body, but I also want you to know that you're in control of a lot. You can make yourself feel better, faster. What are you saying to yourself and what are you thinking? And I know you say, oh, I know, I know, I know. But do you really? Because I noticed lately being so tired and exhausted. So I thought about what words am I using and what am I saying and thinking to myself. So then I started to really become conscious. And I noticed that I so often and have for years, when I get um, sick of doing something, I say tired, right? So I say, I'm so tired of doing this. I'm really tired of doing this. I'm so tired that I have to, this is tiring and I'm so tired of doing this. So what do you think my focus on is on being tired? My focus is on being tired and exhausted. So no wonder I've been feeling tired and exhausted. My thoughts, my feelings have been that, my energy. And so it's been I've been saying those things consistently to myself over and over again, and it's actually made me feel that way, right? It's so powerful. And in here, I know I am somebody who tells women not to do this. So it is easy to get caught up in it again. So I, this video is really to, to remind you, like I need reminding, obviously, very often, that we need to watch our words and we need to watch our thoughts. So another area, too, is in... Um, is in your body image, in your body. Often when we, like I started gaining weight in perimenopause, I'm over it now, but I started gaining weight. And so what I consistently remember saying to myself at that time was, wow, I feel so fat and bloated. I wasn't that bad, obviously, but it doesn't matter. If you feel that way, your sense of yourself is that way, then that's your reality, no matter what size you are. So I remember saying, I'm so fat, I'm so bloated, blah, this then I eat something that I feel so terrible, right? So focusing all of that on all of those things. So I want you to become conscious. What do you say about yourself and your body? Because that does become your reality. We know that we're all manifestors. We manifest everything all the time. It doesn't mean that what we manifest is good. We want to change it to that. But realize that your words, your actions, your what you say, what you think, and especially when it's mixed with a lot of emotion, that does manifest. So by you mixing emotions with saying things like, I'm so fat, or I hate my body, and you're, you're so emotionally caught up in that, then that is a strong manifesting tool. So what you want to do is switch it around, right? You need to find things to feel really good about, things about your body that you feel really good about, even if you don't necessarily believe them. Start with very general things like, Oh, you know what? Today I'm feeling more energy or I'm so happy that I ate healthy today. That is so great for my body. My body's smiling right now. My body's happy that I'm actually eating healthy. Um, I had an interesting conversation with a woman. It was such an epiphany because for me, eating healthy always meant, I always thought about it as really good, really happy. It made me feel happy. I, I'm excited to eat healthy. I love healthy food. I love shopping for healthy food. I love buying healthy food. And so I see it as a very positive thing. I see it as energy and vitality and health and independence and freedom to me is what eating healthy means. And she said to me that it meant to her, it meant deprivation. 
it meant starving, it meant boring, it meant hard to do, and it meant struggle. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. That, were, that was her beliefs around eating healthy. So you see, what was stopping her then? Her beliefs and what she thought eating healthy was all about. So you have two people using the same two words, eating healthy, and it means completely different things to those two people. That's why I have an easier time eating healthy because I see it as a really good, positive, exciting, fabulous thing that contributes to my life, my freedom, my happiness, my independence. And she saw it as the complete opposite. Think about things in your life that you either have a hard time with or are struggling with right now. Don't feel good about and just become more conscious about the words you use, the thoughts you think, the feelings you are putting into that, and your real beliefs about that, and see why. I mean, you're going to notice right away as soon as you start to do that, oh my goodness, that's why this is the way it is. It's because I continually say the same things, I think the same thoughts, and I have those beliefs about this, whatever it is for you. So that's my message today, a very powerful one. And this being more conscious is really going to help you see some of these things come up. And then, of course, you're going to want to switch it to the opposite. Try to begin to get the better feelings, the better words into you. Thank you so much for taking this time to watch this video today. Please become more conscious. And uh, let's change and switch things up and start to think more positively, full of energy, and feeling alive again. Thanks so much.